The app came from a personal experience where I was uh, walking home from work and there were uh, twin suicide explosions uh, a few hundred meters away from my home. The experience the next day when I woke up, I was just wondering to myself how there was no platform where verified uh, real-time information could be provided for Kabul residents. So essentially it's to democratize access to information for Afghans. Well, since you launched uh, the app in 2020, the political landscape in Afghanistan has changed dramatically with the Taliban takeover. How has that affected the app itself and also your operations? So when we were working uh, in the beginning, we would be able to verify reports within five minutes. So when there was an explosion, we would be able to send alerts to the phones within five to ten minutes. Post-August, we've seen a decrease in that time where we're able to send alerts within an hour. So we've lost a lot of time in being able to let users know about what's happening across uh, the city, which uh, obviously uh, took a big hit for us and our work. Also our team, uh, including the developers, including the ver uh, data analysts, uh, those verifying reports, our team was 22 members, we're now down to seven. So we also took a big hit with our team. Um, also with verifying reports, it's taking a long time because there's just no one on the ground now. Has there been any reaction or response to your app from the Taliban rulers? We have had a few incidences with our team where they have seen their ID cards, uh, they've come by our office and have asked us what it is because ihtisab obviously comes from a word where it involves accountability and transparency. Uh, so they did ask uh, our team members what they were doing, one was detained for a short while. So we've had small uh, uh, incidences like that that we've been dealing with, but also just um, um, having to have any sort of relationship with the Taliban or having to uh, ask them to verify things. We don't have that kind of uh, relationship whatsoever. We also don't explicitly write the word Taliban anywhere on our uh, application or our website just for security purposes. It also allows us to maneuver the current environment while we can work around the Taliban government. We don't have to work with them, but also don't we don't instigate additional problems for us as a, as a startup. So what are the plans for the future in terms of your business? Right now, our main focus is building trust within Afghanistan. So by providing this specific application uh, as a non-profit base, allows us to work within the uh, country in this very uncertain environment, while also building trust within our user base. So when we're able to build new applications, by then we will have the ability to uh, work with our user base, we'll be able to increase our services. So the first few things that I'm thinking about um, is is being able to provide a proper municipality a city service application where we would be uh, approaching municipalities across the country and suggesting this platform to them to be able to connect to the citizenry uh, and the, their constituents better and to have the data and to have the platform to be able to track uh, changes and updates within cities for uh, users to be able to contact city officials and have uh, a, a camaraderie and be able to communicate with each other.